Anyone know of any counterexamples? <clears throat> I'll try. Okay. So in the field of quantum mechanics, which most people doesn't know what, what is it? Zeros are considered nothing, therefore. And also simultaneously ones. I don't know. <laughs> so I have in my notes here, ex nihilo niho fit. Anyone have any counterexamples? Quantum field. A quantum field is not nothing. And that's the exact critique that's been given to the quantum, the physicists. I, I was about to say quantum mechanicists. I don't know if that's a term. But the physicists who study quantum mechanics, um, most of them won't argue that anything in quantum mechanics is something coming out of nothing. And when it has been brought up, the rebuttal that has come from other atheistic physicists has been, your quantum field is not nothing. <laughs> The fact is that in the quantum field, there is energy, and there are the laws of physics, and neither of those things are nothing. Nothing is the stuff that rocks dream about. Right? <laughs> it's a very different thing. Out of nothing, nothing comes. Um, one of the best arguments we have for this, because again, we don't actually need to show that the premises are provably true, we need to show that they are more reasonably true than not. So, ex nihilo nihil fit. Well, if that wasn't true, then why don't we just see random things come into existence? Why wouldn't it be normal to expect a unicorn to pop up in front of me? Or to get home and find a tire and iron in your bed? Or to have a pineapple pizza just show up when you're hungry? In fact, if things just popped into existence out of nothing, life would be chaotic. Our experience tells us that things don't come into existence out of nothing. Some people have in the past tried to argue that the universe is somehow a special case, that the universe is unique. 